Hello and good day to all of you. Welcome to Art Space Mysore and my name is Sandhya. Today in this session I am going to teach you copy painting. So before we start let me just show you the image which I have already made, a painting which I have already created which is copy. So this is what we are going to do. Hope you like it and uh, enjoy viewing uh, and also at the same time learning this art. So let's get going with it. Let me just tell you the materials which I am going to use. For this we can make use of any kind of coffee. It can be either Nescafe or brew. Any instant coffee will do which is easily available in your kitchen. So you actually don't have to go hunting for it. It is available easily in the market and you can, I generally use brew or Nescafe, any instant coffee which is there at, um, at your home. And then we require brushes, brushes of various numbers, preferably a two number, a four number, a zero number for detailing. These are the basic brushes, this is a very simple uh, uh, painting, something very similar to watercolor painting and it is water based water so that's why I have I have kept a bowl of water so now we have to make our coffee painting ready so for that what I'm going to do is in a palette I'm going to take some coffee And just add a few drops of water to this coffee which I have taken here. And then I mix this. Now can you see the color which you are getting? And this is what we are going to use for the painting. So let's get going with the painting. And here, I need a pencil. So here I start. I have drawn a rough sketch of this. I will brighten up this for your. I am going to darken it so that you people are able to see it clearly. It's a very easy random drawing of the hibiscus flower. It's not necessary that you have to do hibiscus, you can draw anything of your choice from flowers to birds, to animals, to nature painting. So once we are uh, familiar with this, maybe in the next session we can go uh, take you to a level higher than this, a step higher than this, wherein we can teach you some uh, uh, nature painting so that you get a hang of the dark tones and the light tones. So this is just for the beginners. So this is how we just, I generally prefer to draw a light sketch so that we don't waste much of time uh, thinking of what to make and then start sketching. So this way we are able to complete our painting at a much faster rate. So this is my hibiscus which is just ready and I am just going to make this chalk like this. Okay, so let's get started with the painting. So now I take the light. It is as I said earlier that it is very similar to water painting. So the same technique goes. So I start with the lightest shade. We don't do the dark shade, we take the light shade, lightest of it. Just a little bit of just a little bit of coffee, dip it in water and just spread it for the lightest tone.
and one more thing i just want to mention here is wherever you want to want a white color white color is basically when we are leaving it for the light which is falling on that place if you want light you just leave it white you don't paint at all so this is how see if you can see if you notice closely i have not painted in these areas because i don't want anything to be painted there i'm not going to use any white paint i'm just going to fill it up very lightly like this somewhere dark somewhere light maybe these corners i will darken it a little and now you can take a little bit of darker whenever you want a little darker shade then you take the thick thick coffee and just do it like this can you see the darker shade see you can go as dark as possible now let me take the second petal so this is a little dark i want a little more white light so what i do i just dip, dip the brush in water and just spread it like this and now i dip it in coffee again a thick thick coffee again thick portion of the coffee and then i just do wherever i want it to be dark now can you see the dark shade now i take a thin number brush a thinner brush or a pointed brush like this for me it is easier to use a point with the help of a pointed brush i will just make the strokes the strokes come out to very well it needs to dry it needs to dry a little then i will show you the strokes now i come to the third petal in these difficult days you don't have to lockdown situation you don't have to keep hunting for paint whatever is available at your place like coffee you can uh, use your uh, pooja kumkum or haldi which is there uh, in your kitchen and we can make such lovely paintings using all these things no worries if you don't have paints at all at home so just follow us and you can make some amazing paintings with this and we are going to do, help you to learn all these things now can you see here one more technique i can just tell you if you want 
the darkest shade of the darkest shade of chocolate that color the tone so what i do is i just take any acrylic paint paint and then separately in a palette i'll just you know take a little bit of black paint like this and mix a little bit of coffee into it mix a bit of coffee into the black paint and you get a very dark shade so that i can apply it here see now can you see the the darkest shade along with coffee if you just add any acrylic paint which you have or even a black ink will do if you have it at home so this is how you do it see how beautifully uh, you can you know uh, make different tones out of it can you now see the different tones of coffee this is the lightest here i have not painted anything i have left this area white and here is a little more darker shade of coffee this is all the more darker and this is all the more darker and this is the darkest and for the darkest color what you do is with coffee a little bit of any acrylic black paint or any poster paint or even a normal black ink will do just add to it and you can create a beautiful color so this is how you proceed you have to keep changing brushes because wherever you there is a larger area i think you would require a little more thicker brush and the minutest area the narrow areas you do it with a pointed brush or a uh, thinner brush here i'm not using any flat brush more or less every brush i'm using in this coffee painting is all pointed brush sorry i become a little silent because when you're working you can't simultaneously talk too much but wherever it requires explanation i talk so now i'm using different tones so you can simultaneously we also do the shading like this and make fine strokes basically in a flower you would have seen the central area is the darkest the the portion from where the petals are coming that center portion is the darkest so you can just give a dark shade and from there you can just do the strokes like this okay so just let me see beautiful tones of coffee i just simply enjoy doing all these things
never sit idle at home but do some qualitative work be creative and that's how i spent my entire lockdown and uh, created some amazing paintings so now i also now i i'm going to the next petal maybe i'll have a tone darker this is how you proceed i hope you you all are able to follow wherever you want some light you just leave it white so now coming back to the petals again start from the lightest tone just spread it like this very easy very simple don't have to put in lot of effort you just get wonderful tones just dip it in water and spread it and then you take the darkest and then just I hope by now you you would have got a hang of what I did. Start with the lightest tone. Just dip it in water. More of water than the color. More of water than the color. Now can you see the petal the way I am doing? Strokes will come down once because this is the back of the. this is the upper portion of the upper portion petals of the upper portion and these are the petals of the lower portion and this is the side one so here also we just do it like this when the st strokes are spread all over it looks as if the flower has bloomed completely and just allow it to spread like this just allow it to spread like this 
because of water it is spreading automatically if you can see notice it I just don't want too much of uh, brown here so most of the areas I'm just leaving it white see I'm just dipping it in water this plane I have not taken any paint just the brush I have dipped in water and this I'm spreading it That's it. I'm going to do the outlining and probably a little bit of leaf leaves coming out so I take the darkest thing and The same technique I am using for the leaves also, somewhere dark, somewhere light and rest you just dip it in water like this the brush and just spread it across all over the leaf. You can add as many leaves as you wish. All this just gives a little bit of you know nice effect to your painting. You can just do a little go a little bit of dark somewhere light somewhere like this. And now coming to the middle portion, just complete the
i hope uh, the video audio in the video the audio was uh, audible and you were able to hear me properly Similarly, you can add some more here. Isn't it looking beautiful? These are all the extra stuff which you can give it to your painting to look, make it look more attractive. We are almost done. One more, uh, probably, uh, just to add a little bit of uh, leaf here. this needs to dry a bit for uh, making the strokes and now the final finishing yeah here we are almost done uh, viewers so yeah this now this has dried up Just. During summer seasons, whether it is water paint or any uh, even acrylic paint, poster paint and uh, any water based paint dries off very fast. So you just need to keep wetting your brush to see it's already dried up. Even the coffee has dried up. Whatever I have mixed has dried up. I'm not able to do it once again. You can add as many leaves as you feel like so that your painting gets a fuller image.
so i think i'm almost done uh, i will just show you Here's your coffee painting. I hope uh, you all. I hope you all, of, all of you enjoyed doing this, and uh, please do it at home. Try it on, and in our next session, we will take you to a level level higher than this. Probably do a nature painting so that you understand the tones and the shading in a much better way. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Do it.